Are y'all ready to manifest your ass off? I don't know if you know this, but today is Lionsgate Portal, and it's known as the Day of Manifestation and the Day of Abundance. But there's more to this energy that I want to share with you in a moment. I'm Lynn Louise, the Cosmic Valkyrie. I'm the creator, admin, whatever of this group. I'm the gatherer as I like to say, of this group. And today is one of the most amazing days for me. This is one of the days of the year that I look forward to. I don't really sell a lot, celebrate um, a lot of holidays. I do celebrate uh, the winter solstice. But this day, this day is like my favorite day of the year. I wait for it every year. So this is known as the Lionsgate portal, but it's not just like every other Lionsgate portal. Okay. So I want to talk a little bit about that. Melissa, beautiful lady. How are you doing? I was thinking about you the other day because I have a TikTok about um, my cyst. And so many people were asking me how I've gotten rid of it. And I'm like, oh, I wonder if she's on uh, TikTok. Um, cause I have people that I can send you remember cause you're an amazing medicine woman. I see Tiffany Lester on here. Hello, Mark. Hello. Everyone say hello. So I'm talking about the Lionsgate portal. Now, a lot of people know the Lionsgate portal as the day of manifestation. Okay. So it's known for that. This is the alignment between Sirius, Orion, the sun, like, and Leo, it's just like all amazing energy. And we always associate it with the um, pyramids in Giza because when the alignment happens, it's just spectacular in Egypt. Anyway, there's more to this energy this year than the Lionsgate portal. And I'm going to share with you why that is and how amazing this is, right? So this energy is known for our ability, gives us the ability to manifest. But this year, it's a month eight. It's a day eight and it's a universal year eight. So this brings in that eight energy, which represents or ushers in like uh, that the infinite possibilities. Eight represents money and status, right? So a lot of us in here are healers, teachers, coaches, hypnotists. So a lot of us have a little pushback on that whole money thing, right? Not me. I love talking about money. I love money. But some of us do when we first start out our business. So when I say it's all about money and status, the energy eight is about money and status. The first thing that is triggered is this um, probably a belief system that status is bad. Status is not bad. And as business owners, leadership is a really big thing that we need to step into. Healers, hypnotists, coaches, teachers, any of us, we need to know leadership and we need to step into that leadership. So it's going to be very important. Okay. So we have this wonderful uh, energy of Lion's Gate. We have this amazing energy of eight and you want to manifest with it, right? You probably, a number of you probably have rituals. It might be some energy clearing. You might be doing today in my mastermind, I'm doing a very specific um, multidimensional hypnosis with the cosmic warriors inside there because it is our favorite day of the year. Um, and then I'm also doing like the two, uh, two water, the, two glass manifestation method on my own. I'm doing spe some specific rituals that I do, right? Rituals are great. They're so much fun. And they set your intention into motion because it's like adding that intention and then taking action on it really starts to solidify the energy in which you're bringing to the table. Now, there is a shadow side to all energies, right? We always want to overlook that, but there is a shadow side. And so to this energy, uh, oh, one of the biggest shadow sides is not wanting to feel the emotions that we consider negative. And I'm going to tell you this. I see coaches and healers denying their own negative emotions often. And it's one thing that holds so many of them back. It's like this toxic positivity right? We have to experience all the emotions. So it's going to require you to do that. 
But I'm going to talk about how you're going to manifest that and what you desire. There is one thing, one thing that you need in order to manifest your ass off. Okay? Without this one thing, it's going to be impossible to get what you want. Okay? So hold on to your britches because here it comes. Ooh, give me a heart or tell me below what's the one thing that you want to manifest in the next 12 months. I want to know. I want to know what that is. Okay? I want to know what you're manifesting because this one thing that you need, we need to know that. So I wonder if it's going to let me see your comments. It's so terrible. Facebook lives. I never, I never see them. I just see Melissa. Just, I see your 888 right now. Um, I see Tiffany saying hello. You know what I think it is? I think that I have to swipe and then swipe back to get the comments to start showing up. Okay, so Melissa says, money, money, money. Oh, I think that's what you're, hopefully that's what you're saying that you want to manifest. Okay, so the one thing that you need in order to manifest your ass off for the next 12 months, because this day happens every 12 months, you need crystal clear clarity on what it is you want to create. That means you have to have a very crystal clear vision of what you want. Our intentions are set into motion by vision, a crystal clear vision on what it is we want to create. If you are wishy-washy, okay? So, um, Sarah says, a four-figure month every month, 5K at the very least. That's a good start. That's a very good start, okay? So, uh, Tiffany says, 11 students for my gratitude master class and 11 high-ticket coaching clients. That's a good start. That's a very good start. Okay? So, we need to get really clear on those details. You need to get really clear on those details. And a lot of people are like, well... I want, I'm saying I want 11 students and 11 high ticket clients. That's a good start. But what is, what, what's the deeper things? What is the deeper thing that that is going to help you manifest? Having a business is great, but what does that give you? How does it facilitate in your life? Or what does it facilitate in your life? What changes does it make? Okay, so I could say I want... 35 women to sign up for my upcoming when the doors open for E10X. I could say that. Okay. Very easy. But we want to figure out the details. Okay. How much money is that going to be? How much money is, am I going to set aside for taxes, for expenses? How much am I going to self-pay myself? How much am I going to put into my profit account? When I take that money home for my self-pay, where am I going to apply it? Am I going to put it into a savings account? Am I going to spend it on new windows for the den? Yeah, we're redoing the den. Am I going to, you know, put in a new heat pump? How am I going to, and what is that heat pump going to facilitate? What would new windows in the den be for that? You know, what, am I going to pay off, like, I don't know, if you have debt, are you going to, pay off a credit card with that. If you pay off that credit card, what is that going to facilitate in your life? If you don't have that debt, then where are you going to put that money that you do have? This is crystal clear clarity. When I'm in ma um, the master class, in my ma when I'm helping people in my mastermind, the Evolution 10X mastermind, getting clear on vision, we're talking massive big picture getting really clear, and then you can back map it. Because if you do not have crystal clear, clear, crystal clear clarity on what it is that you want to create, you're putting out wishy-washy intentions. And guess what wishy-washy gets you? 
the universe gives you wishy-washy back. And when you get wishy-washy back, you cannot identify that in which you wanted because you don't know what you want to begin with. Buckle up. We're in for a wild ride. Let me see. Uh, Tiffany says, freedom and choices. Choices for what? I know Tiffany, y'all. So I, I'm going get, to get her a little riled up. Choices for what? What choices? Any choices? What choices? That's too vague. Get specific. My intention is to, uh, Susie says, my intention is to complete the creation of my Oracle cards and create an income stream for the cells of my cards. Okay, get more specific. So one thing is, is when we get really specific, you, you heard me like talking about how many card decks do you want to sell? What's that income going to be? Blah, 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 blah. When we have a crystal clear vision, then here's the thing that happens. One, our intentions tenfold. Our intentions get so much stronger because then we have a crystal clear clarity. We can like hone in on that thermostat, get it to the right degree, and then blow the shit out of the water. So then we have a stronger intention with cl crystal clear clarity. We are able to see, okay, now I know what I want. I have this very, very um, clear vision that I want in the next 12 months. Now I can back map it. This is so important. We can back map it and we can see very clearly what actions we're supposed to take every day to achieve that outcome. We map it out so we have milestones. You can say, I want 11 people um, in my, as a high ticket clients, by when? On the 12th month? Do you want them before the 12th month, right? You can't map it out. Like until you map it out, you can't see the step-by-step -step actions that we need to take. Claire, vision is everything. Y'all, that's the very first thing that we address inside the mastermind. Because without that, you have nothing to create, Right? So it's getting really, really um, down and dirty with what the bigger picture is. I have to get upstairs because I'm taking my mastermind people through my multidimensional hypnosis today. And I got to go get centered. I got to open up my chakras, get my telepathy on. So what I really want you to understand here is if you do not have a clear vision, it is going to be impossible, not hard, but impossible for you to create any results because you don't have any results to create. You send out wishy-washy to the universe, it's going to give you wishy-washy back, okay? You, um, and when you're treating your business like a hobby, or you're treating your body like a hobby, or your relationships like a hobby, you're going to get hobby results back. When I'm talking to entrepreneurs, I'm always saying, you treat your business like a hobby, guess what? You're getting paid like an unpaid intern, right? You're not making any money. So really, like having that clear vision gives you the actual steps. It gives you a stronger intention. And it gives you the ability to manifest more rapidly that in which you desire in the day-to-day. -day. Now, before I jump off, I'm hosting an absolutely free masterclass towards the end of this month. Ask me for the link. I'll give it to you. It's the five keys to unlocking your personal success. It's going to be an hour long. It's a masterclass. Boom, boom, boom. Bring pen and paper. And um, yeah. That's happening. So I got to go because I only have 10 minutes to get ready for my mastermind. Let me just read what Sarah said here. Um, she said, Sarah said she wants to pay off debt, save for girls, higher education, enjoy it, enjoy expenses in life like yoga retreats, um, art courses, 
delicious and healthy foods. Okay, write it down. Y'all, if you are on the wait list for my mastermind, I'm giving you homework right now. So when you join the mastermind, you'll have a head start. I want you to start writing down, and it doesn't have to happen all at once. I want you to start writing down things that you want to manifest. Okay, I want you to start, you know, like I want to manifest a new car or I want to manifest a trip to whatever. Or <clears throat> if you want to save for your kids higher education, how much is that going to be? Right. Tiffany says, pay off my house. How much do you have left? Like you have to know how much you have to have to make in order to pay it off. So remember to do these little things are very important keep my kids in private school, go to Scotland, put 10K in savings and create 5K savings for my kids. Good. Get really, where do you want to go in Scotland? My husband and I have been thinking about relocating to Shetland. Um, let's see. Okay. Okay. I'll get the link to Melissa and Sarah after my mastermind. I love all you and let's just have a great day. I'm going to do the two cup system um, uh, that I use and maybe I'll go ahead and do like a live later on how that works, but you have to have a vision. You can't do the two water system without the vision. You can't manifest without vision. You can't do anything without vision. I love you all. Take care.